Russell Westbrook exploded in the second half last night to lead the Thunder to a Game 1 win in the West Finals. Westbrook scored 24 of his 27 points in the final two quarters, including 19 in the third alone. However, Westbrook did start the game making only one of eight shots and struggled for most of the first half. Shannon. The question to you, my friend, is would you want Westbrook leading your team? Absolutely. And sometimes he annoys you. In the first half, I see him come down and it's one on four. And he shoots the ball. I see him gets really careless and reckless with the basketball and turn the, foot, the, the basketball over a bunch. But outside of Steph Curry, at this very moment, there's no other guy I want at the point other than Russell Westbrook. Um, I know he's going to give me 1,000% every single night, not just offensively but he's also going to give it to me defensively. He's going to rebound the basketball. He's going to assist the basketball. Yeah, he's going to, his turnover ratio will be fairly high because he is careless with the basketball. But I want that guy on my team. I'm willing to accept some of the, the poor decisions that he, that he makes occasionally because I know he's going to give it to me every night. Skip, the thing that I love most about him, he takes the challenge. He's like, OK, Steph, you want to try to come at me? Well, I'm going to go right back at you. Kyrie. Dame Lillard, you coming at me, I'm coming right back at you. So I, I love that about him. I love the way he plays the game. I love his attacking style. I have no problem. Yeah, he annoys me at times, but the great that he does far outweigh any of the bad that he does. Mm. I'm just the opposite, but I'm 51-49 against Russell Westbrook. The bad barely outweighs the great. Uh -huh. The great is great. I, I give you the great. I love how hard he plays. I, I love how athletic he is, especially in his swoops to the hoop. I, I don't see anything quite like him. And I wish he could have played your game because I would have liked to have seen yeah, him at free safety <laughs> or maybe even strong safety. No, I want to see know. him. He's a running back, Skip. You think so? Yeah, we got to put the ball in his hands. Okay. Yeah, he, he, he was a, physical enough to do that. Yeah, yeah he, he, he would have been great. Okay. I, I, I love... I love that he grew up some this year, and, and he, he actually discovered his favorite new stat, which is the triple-double, and it, so it made him a little more aware on his swoops to the hoop mm -hmm. that, oh, wait a second, I can dump it to that big guy, and he can dunk it, and I get a stat in that category. Mm -hmm. I get a, a one over there. I, I love all that about him. I would not want him running my show, and I've said this for a long time, and I'm sticking with it. He, he, is, he is so headstrong. He is so tunnel-visioned. He is so, at times, egomaniacal, and I don't mean it in the worst way, it's just like he is in, in his own head, that, that he has no real perspective on the rest of the game. I'm a big Magic Johnson fan. Maybe I'm going old school, but I, I'm stuck in Magic Land here, because have you ever seen a better leader of a basketball team than Magic Johnson? No, uh, but the thing was, Magic, Magic personality lend to the fact that he was playing with Kareem, and he says, okay, Chief, Cap, what do you want? That's not Russell Westbrook. He's not taking, Russell Westbrook is not taking a back seat. Okay, I, I don't know if, not only is he not taking, he, he is driving a car that, that has no passengers sometimes. <laughs> seriously, seriously, well, he, where he's not aware that there are other people on the court sometimes. He, he sometimes. But that's... And, okay, and here's been my biggest problem from the start. I was such a Kevin Durant fan when he was at the University of Texas, and I predicted he was going to win multiple scoring titles, and a lot of people laughed at me. And he winds up in Oklahoma City with this guy who somehow thinks he's the man in Oklahoma City. And unfortunately, he's the decision maker. He gets to dribble the ball up the court and choose whether that guy named Durant standing over there on the wing gets to shoot or do I get to shoot. It's my call. And a lot of times, like last year, he shot more than Kevin Durant did. And it just drives me nuts, but, okay, but, because it's wrong. But and Skip, you know it in, and I know it. In the history it. of the game, have we ever seen two equally as talented offensive players play on a team in their prime at the same time. You make a strong case. Ma maybe, maybe, Elgin ones, ba maybe Elgin Baylor, maybe, Jerry West? Maybe. But I mean, but I'd have to go back to my mental bank, but it's a good question. But the problem here is one is the quote unquote point guard. And that's just the other title. Guy, that's just his okay. title skip. Okay, He's but, not but a who point dribbles guard. the ball up the floor? He, I mean, okay? It, that's the problem here. And uh, look, I'm, I'm doing the magic comparison. Russell has no magic in him. No. Magic on any given night would, would sense. He, he's so keenly attuned to the emotions of the... You, you were the leader in your locker room. Yeah. You, you, your coaches looked for you to light the fire. And occasionally you walked into a locker room on a Sunday morning and you looked around and you saw so-and-so 
who's a really good player, who's down in the dumps, I don't know, he's having a fight with his girlfriend or whatever has happened the night before, and you got to go light his fire, and I know you did it. Yeah. Because you sensed it, you felt it. He and drove you said, with passengers. He, he drove with passengers. He did. <laughs> yeah. No, 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 but really, it, 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 in fact, seriously, I'm, I'm not just saying this for your benefit, but as, as a guy who played the position of tight end, it's not the, it's not the quarterback position, no. but you were the leader of a lot of really good well, championship football teams. Yeah where the coach leaned on you to carry the, the emotions of the team onto the football field. Right. Okay, that's magic-esque to me. You have a lot of Magic Johnson in yeah. you and had it. And, and you were a driving force on your teams as a tight end, not even as the quarterback. Right. Russell doesn't see or feel. It's not like, I got to get... Oh, I, I got to get Ibaka involved tonight. No, it's, it's, he doesn't think that way. He's going to come at you a thousand miles an hour, and sometimes he's going to be a little out of control. Yes. You know it, and I yeah, know he, it. He is, but you have to let him lead his way, Skip. Mm -hmm. And I think the one mistake that you can make is ask Russell to be something that he's not. And he is not, a, he is not a pure no. point guard. He's more of a two guard that can handle and distribute the basketball. But you have to let him be, at the end of the day, let him be him. And he is what he is. And I'm willing to accept that because he's so great. I know this guy can go get me 40. I know he can get me 20 okay. assists. I know he can grab me 15 rebounds. Skip, it's a, it's a rare breed that, that a guy his size can do what he do. He's the best rebounding guard in, in basketball. He is. No question about it. So, if Shannon Sharp, if I can put you in Kevin Durant's sneakers yes. on any given night, yes. are you loving playing with this guy? Absolutely. Absolutely. You sure? I, yeah, I, I am, Skip, because... The only thing that I wanted, what irked me more than anything, was somebody that wasn't giving it what I gave. And I know he's giving it what I gave. I know he's studying. That's I know he, I know he's in the weight room. I know he's taking care of his he body. Is. So yeah. when I go on the field, my dog with me. Your and, dog and, is, he's, and, he's and Russell, coming. And, 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 and Rick Westbrook, and I mean this in the highest sense, he is that boy dog. He's yeah. that dog that you want to go I to the fight with. Mm -hmm. And you walk up with him, whether you go into the blacktop, you are two on two, or three on three, or five on five, I got that guy. He's in, all in. I got that guy. I'm riding with him. Other than Steph Curry, I'm taking him over Chris Paul. I'm taking him over Kyrie, Dame Lillard, over anybody other than Steph Curry. Give me Westbrook. Okay, you know he's a poor three point shooter, and that does him in sometimes. I got to be objective about this, but he can be abysmal he was last night mm -hmm. until he finally made one with seven minutes left in the third quarter it finally went in and boom he went off but he plays D better than all those other point guards I mentioned he rebounds better than all those other point guards I mentioned no doubt and other than that. Chris Paul he distributes the basketball now you say Chris Paul is the prototypical point guard. I, I don't think he plays defense better than Chris Paul yeah yeah no yeah. he does oh, not yeah, yeah Russell gambles he, he's he's a free safety. He's just going to gamble and try to pick it off and go dunk it. Yeah. And he did it once last night. Yeah. You okay. just want him to have a little more awareness. Just a little bit. Yeah. Just be a leader. Because the true leader of the team is Kevin Durant. Yep. Kevin Durant has some magic in him. He can see it and feel it and lead it on and off the floor in ways that Russell never can. Yeah, seven foot tall, yeah, he got some magic in him because he can put the ball in the basket uh -huh. like, like nobody. No, but I'm does. talking about being a leader yeah, of the he, team. He, he, yeah. but, but, that works for them. See, for the longest time, we did a, we, we, well, we, I mean, the media tried to do a, a drive a wedge between, well, this is Kevin's team, this is Russell's team. And they were like, no, it's our team. Mm -hmm. He can be himself, I can be, because that's not Kevin's personality. Yeah. And the best Kevin, thing Kevin did this year, he started, he, he said, we are both going to go together to the post-game interviews so no wedges can be driven. Yep. We're going to sit next to each other smart. and hear the same question. Yep. Yep. Because there's two superstars on that team. In case yep. you and, Bron, you know, Bron's coming, and whoever has the hot hand or two hot hands, they're coming with Bron. So it might be Kyrie and Kevin. It might be Kevin and, and you're JR. you're riding with Bron all the way. Well, you know, yes, I got to ride we with know. We're in that fire truck. <laughs> all right, now that you got Russell Westbrook is by far the best point guard, are you taking Oklahoma City? <laughs> we, are you taking them to beat Golden State? We got, we got four minutes left. All Four right. minutes left, baby. Up next, Tom Brady, he has a week left. Will he accept the suspension or will he fight? He has less than a week, actually, to decide. Shannon will tell us what he should do after the break. Stay here. So we never regret that. All right, a little legal jargon here. Stay with me. So last month, the appeals court ruled in favor of the NFL effectively reinstating Brady's four-game suspension by the NFL for his role in the Deflategate scandal. Now, the second U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals said Brady could have until this coming Monday to decide whether to ask for a rehearing in front of the same three-judge panel or a new hearing 
in front of the entire circuit. Shannon, at this point, should Brady just accept this four-game suspension or continue to fight? Don't accept it if he thinks he's done nothing wrong, but I don't think he changes the opinion of anybody's mind. Either you're dug in one way or another. You believe he did it and should be punished, or you don't and believe he should play. So him winning an appeal, it's not going to, I don't believe it changes anyone's mind. I think if you're a Patriot fan, you live in the Massachusetts area, you believe Tom Brady's done nothing wrong. Everybody, for the most part, not everyone, but for the most part, a lot of people that do not live in those areas do not root for the Patriots. They think he's done something and should be, and should be punished. So you don't think he should keep fighting just to keep, it, just keep clearing his name, but more important, so he can play the first four games? But, Skip, it doesn't, it doesn't do anything. The union is fighting. See, the, the problem that I have with the union is that they pick and choose the battles that they want to fight for. They want to mm -hmm. fight this one, but they didn't want to fight for Terrell Pryor that got suspended four games for something that happened in college. They didn't want to fight that one. Commissioner didn't have too much power. They didn't want to fight for Pac-Man Jones, who got suspended for an entire year mm -hmm. for something that had nothing to do with uh, the integrity of the game or, or rules or violations of the game. But you want to fight this battle. Hey, you fight whatever battle you want. Drew Brees saying the commissioner had too much power. But he didn't have too much power when he suspended Terrell Pryor for four mm -hmm. games. Okay. So now four judges have ruled two for and two against. That's, how, that's mm -hmm. the, mm -hmm. the stat sheet right now. Yep. So I say Tom Brady should keep fighting, and if it requires him to dip into his own savings, I think he has the money to pay his own lawyers if, in fact, you think it's too much money that has been drained from the NFLPA. A absolutely. Skip, you're fighting a battle. I mean, the NFL, every, like, every guy that owns a team in the NFL is a billionaire. Mm -hmm. There are no billionaires that's players. So you're fighting an uphill battle because they can, you know, $1,500 an hour, Skip, that's a lot of money adds up very quickly. Thunder and seven, say it. Thunder and seven. You kept poking me, did you? Thunder and you seven. Say it. Say it. Go. Go. We're out of time. Let's go, KD. I got the. Thank okay, you. Okay, see.